Continuing with this example, part D, I'm asked to write the equation of the line that's parallel to y equals 3x minus 7 and passes through 2, negative 5. Well, if it's parallel to this equation, then the slopes are the same. Two parallel lines have the same slope. So what I'm really doing is writing the equation of the line with slope m equals 3 that passes through 2, negative 5. So what I can say that I know for sure is that y equals 3 x plus b. So if I substitute the slope into my y equals mx plus b form, then it would look like that. I can put this ordered pair in now, negative 5 equals 3 times, there's the x value, 2 plus b. So I get negative 5 equals 6 plus b. Now if I subtract 6 from both sides I get negative 11 equals b. So I'm going to use my slope from the parallel line and the b value that I found going through this ordered pair to write my new equation. So y equals 3x plus negative 11 y equals 3x minus 11. And function notation, just to round this out, f of x equals 3x minus 11. Part e, if I want the equation of the horizontal line that passes through negative 3 comma 5, that's going to be the line for which every output is 5. So the way I say that is y equals 5 or f of x equals 5. Either one of those will work. The vertical line passing through negative 3, 5, well that's going to be the line where every input is negative 3. I write that as x equals negative 3 there is no corresponding function notation because x equals negative 3 is not a function. So I'm just going to say no function notation. So when you're working these problems, if you look back through all of the examples, pay very close attention to the information that you're given. If you're given a vertical intercept or not, if you're given a slope or some information to help you find a slope. So examples A through D are about using the slope in the y-intercept. E and F are your special cases.